Thank you, Emily, and welcome everyone to our session today. Are you looking for new resources and activities for your culinary toolbox? Well, RealityWorks Supplemental Culinary Kits are really a great resource for adding some new hands-on opportunities to learn transferable career skills. Now, today we're gonna to highlight a variety of these kits and we're gonna take one activity from each kit that you're gonna be able to take and use with your students. So by the end of our webinar, you should walk away with anywhere from eight to 10 different activities and ideas that frankly, you can use right away. So here's a brief outline of what we're going to be covering today. We've got all of these different culinary kits that we're going to introduce. We will highlight all of the components to each kit. We will do an overview of the lessons uh, included in each of the curricula. And then we're gonna dive into the activities that are included in the things you can do with each kit. And that's when we'll share one of the activities from the kit and give you the, the things, the links, or the, the items you're gonna need to be able to do that activity in your own classroom. So first of all, just some of the features and benefits of using one of our kits. Uh, these are all supplemental solutions. So if you're already using something like uh, textbooks or own teacher created materials, this just gives you more lab activities and hands-on learning for applying what you're already teaching in your culinary programs. So they, they work very well really with any textbook or anything already in place. You can pick and choose. Each uh, lesson usually stands alone within the curricula. Uh, classroom management, we've tried to really take a look at that and make it easier. So there are also often multiple components in the kits so that each kitchen lab can be doing these things simultaneously. We do like to build an assessment as well so that it makes it easy for you to ensure mastery of the skills and the content. And then, of course, the, the activities that our subject matter expert writers do, uh, they uh, try to make them very engaging and have students do a lot of hands-on things. So the very first kit we're gonna to highlight today is our knife skills kit. And um, this, all the items that you see on here come with a kit, but it really is a great introductory unit, like a one week unit, all about those basic knife skills for any culinary program. And again, you can see those multi six, multiples of six so that each kitchen lab has all of the items that you see here and can be working on those things simultaneously. So curriculum highlights here, it's a three lesson curriculum. You're gonna begin with, a, you know, of course, safety first, <laughs> safe handling and storage of knives. And then students are gonna get into the anatomy of knives and, and different types of knives and what, what they're used for and the type of cuts. And then your students are actually gonna uh, be able to uh, put their, their skills to work by learning how to properly uh, cut um, using knives and how to do it safely. And they're gonna demonstrate that um, you, in a lab activity. So that's just a very brief look at the curricula. Uh, some of the, the activities include um, uh, presentations on safety and then uh, vocabulary we always like to build in to help students uh, build their vocabulary. And then they're gonna have a kitchen lab where they're gonna do 10 different cuts. And then we've also built in that assessment quiz. So here's the uh, activity we want to share from this particular kit. Um, it's uh, available at the link that you see above. And it will provide hands-on practice for a variety of classic knife cuts. Now, we found a very uh, short uh, YouTube, free YouTube video. Uh, it's only 11 minutes, but it's how to master basic knife cuts. And you can show that first, then give your students some hands-on practice using knives and food items. And then um, this is a handout that you can find at the link all about um, having them complete the chart as they do each of the knife cuts. So they've got a description, um, and then they're going to um, actually... Uh, include a sample cut that they can show the teacher that they've done. So that's just the one activity from that that uh, we thought would make a great intro to knife cuts. This is the second kit we wanna to share today. It's our basic food safety kit. And uh, it covers basic food safety and handling techniques used in culinary occupations and also at home. So the curriculum here is gonna integrate some hands-on activities and components for up to six small groups to be working on the activities together. And uh, this slide presents a list of all of those kit components that you're gonna receive in this particular kit. It has videos, workbooks, uh, posters, and all sorts of things. Uh, again, classroom management is something we strive to make implementation easier. So here's a list of the lesson topics found in that curriculum. And if you taught all of it, the teaching time would be approximately eight to 10 hours in total. But if you're just looking to concentrate on a couple of these topics, each lesson also is a very good standalone lesson on the topic. 
Here are a few of the activities found in the curriculum to engage students. Uh, we use glow germ gel and UV lights because they're a really fun way to show students how to properly wash their hands. Because after applying the gel and then following the procedures, the UV lights illuminate areas on the hands that are not properly cleaned. And lessons integrate important language art skills as well. There are several research projects as part of the activities, but really one of the highlights of the kit is that foodborne illness outbreak simulation. Students are put into a scenario where they take on the role of the county health official who's tasked with discovering the source and the pathogen causing a local outbreak at a large scale event. And just like a detective, they trace the clues to discover the answer. And the bacteria growing lab has students using yeast in three different environments to see which one makes bacteria grow the fastest and the implications it has for food safety. So students put all their new skills to work in a cooking lab while they make chicken fried rice. And then there's also a trivia game focusing on question categories. So um, there's always assessment built into the kits with answer keys provided as well. So the activity that we'd like to highlight from this kit um, it really can easily be adapted or used um, remotely or in person is our common pathogen research project. So your students are gonna choose a pathogen and there's there's a list here that, that you could uh, choose from. They're gonna research and collect all the information on, on an organizer that's provided at the link. Then they're gonna be tasked with pre preparing a five minute presentation. We also do include a rubric at this link. So all of that makes just for a really nice way to give your students in the class uh, exposure to a great number of pathogens in a very succinct manner. Now, the next kit we I want to talk about today is our kitchen safety kit. And you can use our kitchen safety kit to introduce basic kitchen safety concepts and techniques to your students in a really easy to use one week unit. Uh, this kit's going to work with any textbook or curriculum you already use, but it comes with things like activity cards, posters, and hands-on activities that address sanitation, uh, knife safety again, and also hazard prevention and assessment. And you can use this kit to organize up to six simulations in kitchen labs or even to offer individual kitchen safety practice opportunities. Now, the curriculum in this one has five different lessons, and it helps participants learn about important kitchen safety techniques um, used in culinary occupations. So the four primary hazard areas in the kitchen, sanitation, burns, falls, and cuts are covered. Lessons are gonna integrate those using hands-on activities into each lesson. Um, again, we, use, we do use glow germ oil here in UV lights to do proper hand washing. Uh, kitchen safety poster set are provided so that each cooking lab has a really easy visual reference for participants to use during various activities. And then we have some trivia cards for a fun small group and class-wide activity. And uh, also uh, Stemser does provide review uh, to the post-test. So again, another great little one-week unit all about kitchen safety. Now here are some of the lesson activities laid out in more detail and it shows just how those kit components are integrated into each lesson of the curriculum. Students make sanitizing solutions, they use safe knife skills in a salsa lab. They prepare safety class presentations and then um, it culminates in a walkthrough of a hazardous kitchen. And that's that's not only fun to set up, but it's great, great fun to assess. Uh, and one kitchen lab is basically taped off with caution tape. And then there's a combination of items from the kit and then also some that the teacher gathers and a hazardous kitchen is set up. Then students are tasked with observing the kitchen, identifying the hazards, and then explaining how to mitigate or prevent each of the hazards. Uh, it's an activity that you could certainly do on your own, or you could even challenge each kitchen lab to set up a certain number of safety issues in their lab, and then have their fellow students walk through each kitchen to identify those hazards. Now, here's our activity from that that we wanted to share. And this really makes a good icebreaker. Um, at the link provided, there are five trivia questions from the trivia card deck, and there are five categories. So to expand on this, you could challenge each small group to submit five questions and answers in one category as well. And then you would divide the class into teams. You read the trivia question. Then the team must write down the answer and show it on a notepad and flip it over. So that first correct answer gets the point. And of course, the team with the most points would win. Our next kit we want to talk about is our food truck design kit. And this is one of our favorite best-selling kits. Um, we know that food trucks have seen exponential growth with the onset of COVID in 2020. Uh, just, just a huge growth. Um, we know that 
just a few years ago, there were about 24,000 active food truck businesses in the U.S. And um, those food truck industry employees were around 30,000 just a couple of years ago. And this is a more than a $2 billion industry. So lots of opportunity for occupations. So our food truck design kit, it's going to provide hands-on experience for students tasked with building a food truck business. Now, this interactive tool will allow for optimal student interaction and learning while planning all aspects of a food truck business. So uh, things like hands-on lab activities and lesson plans. If you taught everything in this one, it would be approximately a three-week unit on food truck entrepreneurship. It can also supplement any textbook or curriculum that you're already using. Some of the curriculum topics include things like marketing, budgeting, menu development, and other essential topics. And really throughout the whole thing, students are learning to be entrepreneurs and how to open up their very own food truck business. Uh, it's a very robust curriculum with 19 hours of content, and this is a breakdown of each lesson and the activities included in each part of the lesson. Some of the favorites include designing a food truck name and logo, uh, planning the menu items, and then using scale tiles um, and a design board to lay out their very own food truck business inside and outside. So, uh, and this is also uh, one of the activities we'd like to share from the kit. It, uh, the link includes handouts uh, for students to design a logo and brand for their very own food truck business. They also would complete and design a menu and then complete an analysis on their menu. So a great fun activity for students who'd like to think about what they would create for their very own food truck business. Our next kit is our food science and nutrition lab kit. And here are all of the different components that you see in our, in our kit. We've got the curriculum. This one comes with workbooks. Um, you can always order more um, when you run out from our store, but things like beakers and funnels, pipettes, uh, all sorts of things to do some very scientific labs. So the curriculum highlights, we do like to weave in career planning and exploration whenever we can. And it's going to get into some of the topics of, of course, food safety, nutrition, got nutrition therapy, and then food technology. There's an awful lot of new things emerging in that area. Uh, food science, dietetics, and nutrition. And then we end with a food biology and chemistry lesson. And here are the seven lessons. And there are two different activities in each of the lessons. So if you're gonna do this, um, each lesson again does stand on its own if you just wanted to do a very specific uh, topic for the day or the week. But you can see there's, there's uh, 14 different hands-on activities that you can do in this particular kit. So the activity we wanted to share from the kit um, is breaking news. And in this particular one, you would pair up and then your uh, students would uh, search a GMO and they would identify a popular food that contains that specific one that they're doing their, their research on. And then they are going to create a script and deliver a breaking news segment presenting their research. And we have provided you uh, the skit rubric here. So this is really an easy one to be able to have your students just do. But some of the questions you might wanna have them answer is, what is a GMO? Uh, what popular food does it contain? And what impact does the GMO have on the food items? And then of course, they, they should also identify the source that they've used for their information. Our next kit to highlight would be our sports nutrition lab kit. And this has great crossover between family consumer science and also sports medicine. Um, so here are all the contents. You have um, workbooks again for this one. There's a lot of lab activities. You've got uh, two different posters. One is on nutrients and one is on uh, reading food labels. You've got a representative two pound a body fat model that is very eye-opening. Uh, then you have all sorts of hands-on things like skin calipers and skin fold caliper analyzers, uh, body mass index uh, tape measures and things. So they'll be using all of those things in the different lab um, activities. Uh, this curricula includes seven different lessons, uh, much again that you would expect if it's um, dealing with um, athletic performance. So you've got you know nutrients and how to use that, uh, the nutrition to certainly enhance athletic performance. You're going to get into body weight, composition, and fat. A great little lesson on reading food labels and, and why that's so very, very important. Uh, you've, you've also got a lesson on safe methods for weight loss and gain. 
uh, supplement use or just the dangers and um, safeguards of supplements and then also substance abuse. So all really good lessons. Uh, here are uh, is a closer look at the lab activities associated with each of the different uh, seven lessons in this particular curriculum. And you can see it's they, they're doing everything from uh, pregame meal planning to uh, looking at uh, intake case studies and really analyzing those. There's a really fun uh, food label or nutrition label reading activity. Uh, they're going to um, do some but research definitely and even creating a brochures on uh, banned substances. So a lot of different ways to engage your students. So the activity that we are sharing from that particular uh, curriculum is an activity when teaching about nutrients. And this particular uh, worksheet is a uh, all about creating a balanced eating plan. And you're, so you've got the criteria below these four uh, bullet points where their students are tasked with including certain things in their plate. And um, you've got the worksheet here at the, at the link and they have to be uh, this, they have to meet all of these different criteria as they are creating that balanced plate. A brand new kit that we are really excited to kick off is our new Farm to Fork Lab Kit. And again, this is a great crossover kit between family and consumer science and also some of our egg programs. And this is gonna include all sorts of activities. There's five different lessons, uh, taking students through um, getting uh, food from you know field uh, all the way to the table. And there's everything you see on here, again, we take classroom management into consideration so that when uh, students are doing the activities, they can be in small groups, they can be paired up. Sometimes these are even individual uh, things, but all of the items you see are weaved into um, the different lessons found in this lab kit. Here are the different uh, five different topics of the lessons, and each one focuses on a step of the process from farm to table. Here's a closer look at the five different lessons, uh, some of the resources or the components in the kit, and then the lab activity that it's used for. So you've got a, a really terrific uh, set of field insects in the kit, and students use one of those to do some research and uh, really dig into the impact that that uh, crop pest has on production of the crop. Uh, we've got petri dishes and air powder and, and swabs and things in a food contamination lab. That's that's a lot of fun. Then we've also included some dry erase boards and microfiber cloths and, and markers because students are going to be learning about the cold chain process and, and um, outlining that as part of the lesson. And then we end with two different scenario-based learning lessons where students are going to have to problem solve different dilemmas as they uh, relate to shipping produce to local stores and also food ending up on their plate. So the activity that we wanted to share here is two different scenarios that you can use to challenge your students. And uh, one is focusing on shipping, pricing, and packaging, and the other one focuses on meal planning and grocery shopping. And one way, you could, or a couple different ways you could use this. Uh, one is a small group activity where you could distribute the scenarios to small groups, and then have your students read and analyze the scenario, and you circulate among the groups providing guidance and, and answering questions and then bring the class together for a large group discussion. You could also use this as a five minute icebreaker activity where you begin your class with a quick five minute scenario challenge by selecting one of the scenarios to read to the class. You could even put it up on a document projector, but uh, scenario based learning has got so many, so many uh, positive benefits to it, but it really makes this, the students critically think and do some, some great problem solving. And if they're doing it in a team, those teamwork and communication skills are also woven in. Now, we also do provide a culinary math training kit and it comes with student workbooks. It has uh, online lessons. It has a printed uh, student or teacher guide. So there are two different ways you are able to uh, implement the program and teach the content. You can do it with lecture PowerPoint and workbook, or you can send the students off to do the learn the content um, through the online lessons, and then they do the application in the workbook. So here are the six different lesson topics. The first half, the first three lessons are all standard math review. Those great things like fractions and decimals, percentages, conversions, things of that nature. And then the last three lessons focus specifically on some uh, culinary math applications such as food costing. Uh, students are actually going to be using uh, measurement tools and doing conversions and, and that type of thing. 
So a few of the highlights of this particular program is the fact that um, you've got two different ways that uh, students can, can learn the content, either online or through, through uh, teacher-led instruction. And the lessons do integrate common culinary measurement tools. We even build in assessment with the program and quizzes and things like that. And then the workbooks um, act to reinforce the content and give more practice problems. Uh, here is a free lesson that this is the activity we wanted to provide for this program. If you go to this link and it's on realityworks.com, um, you can sign up for one free lesson to try with your students from the program. Um, it gives you a chance really to see how the whole thing works. And if it's something that you, you find beneficial, you may wish to purchase a program. Uh, so we've got a few other culinary resources lined up, more than just kits, that we would like to point out today. And one is that we have three different hydroponic options for culinary programs to choose from. Uh, different sizes for different to meet different needs. The plant mini educational hydroponic system class pack. It's a five pack, but it's very uh, has a small footprint, uh, desktop, very easy to, to have in a classroom, especially if space is a consideration. Uh, then the Plant Lab Educational Hydroponics Program and the Plant Producer, um, those are um, two different sizes that are larger than the mini, and, but all of them give your students hands-on uh, ways to grow um, grow crops, or I'm sorry, grow, grow some greens using hydroponics, and there's curriculum that comes with it, but um, if you are interested in anything like that, you can certainly check out more information on our website uh, product page. Another thing we have are a series of meat cut posters, and we have them on beef, pork, and we also have beef, pork, lamb, and now chicken models as well. It's a great way to get hands-on and also visual uh, cut meat cuts from each type of animal. And as you can see, there would be crossover from culinary programs and also some egg programs. So if you, and it really saves on you having to go out and get the, get the real thing, uh, you can use this over and over and it never goes bad. So really an interesting life-size uh, models of those uh, beef, pork, lamb, and chicken. But the posters also make a, a great visual to, to put up in your classroom when you're talking about meat cuts. We also have culinary soft skills. And uh, we have a, a card deck. It's 19 different soft skills that you can use, uh, but they are all... Uh, scenario like real life scenarios uh, written by a subject matter expert that would happen in different culinary occupations. Each of the 19 scenarios focuses on a different soft skill. And you can use this program to supplement some of the employability skills you might already be teaching. You could do a mini unit on these skills. Uh, they all have scenarios. So you can use those, uh, generate real life discussions and uh, use them for reflection activities, but just very versatile in how you can use them. And there is a free scenario that you can try at the link. And it's part of our food processing and production uh, and safety career expert or career scenario cards. So we have two different culinary related, related soft skill card decks to choose from. So now what? I've uh, thrown a lot of content and a lot of ideas at you. So think about which culinary content areas do you need more resources for? What topics? Uh, do any of the resources that we shared today line up uh, with the gap that you have and maybe just start small? Maybe you would try one activity from a kit that you're interested in, see how it goes. You could try all eight or 10 ideas that we shared today just to, just to have more things uh, to try in your programs, but start small and then grow from there. So here's some additional resources that we, we like to make available to you. First, we have a free one week, it's a five lesson unit <clears throat> on culinary arts and food science career exploration. <clears throat> Each of the lessons is a standalone lesson, but you could easily teach all five. You could weave them into any culinary program um, if you wanted to do more specifically on career exploration. We also have some culinary posters available at the link that you see here. Um, some are career oriented and some are um, uh, topical. So we have, you know, certainly the culinary and food science careers poster, but then we have, you can see one here on hydroponics specifically. Uh, other things, we've got a blog that we uh, wanted to make you available or um, aware of because we do product launches there. We have uh, guest speakers, uh, classroom activities, all sorts of things at the blog. And we have a whole variety of social media from Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, 
that we like to point out as well. And then of course we have a product support team that is just excellent. So if you have any questions about any existing products that you might have or need some help, they are a great resource. So Emily, you've been watching our, our chat and uh, I know you've been looking for questions. There's just one more uh, slide here that I wanted to talk about. We do have a culinary kit bundle that uh, bundles up a lot of the kits that you see today into one nice convenient SKU. And if you are interested in that, uh, you can find out more information on our website at the link provided. So Emily, you have questions that have come up during our session today. Yeah, Denise, uh, we had a few people pop on a little bit later. Do you wanna be going over, or would you go over what everybody's gonna be receiving after the webinar? Yes, yeah, so if you've been live with us today, you are gonna get a copy of the recording with a link to this, to this, uh, this session. You will also be getting the slide presentation and you'll also get uh, access to links that I've shared to all of the activities and the resources. So um, if you've been live with us today, you also get a certificate of participation as well. Another question that came in is where can they find pricing for the kits? Um, pricing, if you go to realityworks.com, there is a culinary dropdown and there is a specific product page on each of the kits that we shared today. Now all of the pricing is found on the product page. Awesome. And I'm not seeing any additional questions coming in at this time. All right, well, thank you everybody. We hope that you have found some new kit ideas and also some new activities that you can uh, take away and use in your programs. Uh, we, we love to hear when you've been successful with any of our products and certainly with any of the activities. So uh, if you are able to do some of these things, uh, share those pictures out on social media and send them in because we, we love to see that. So thank you very much, everyone.